It's a collaboration between two women-led nonprofit groups in the Madison area. The Literacy Network of Dane County and Centro Hispano. These groups just received a citizenship and integration grant from the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. So here to talk with me about this gift, Robin Ryan, Executive Director of the Literacy Network, and Karen Menendez, caller of Centro Hispano. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for being here today. Tell yeah. us about this grant and what it means for both of your organizations. Well, we're really excited about it. Um, we're excited partly because it's a collaboration and partly because it is the first time that the U.S. government has given a grant specifically to serve residents of Dane County. Wow. So what we will do is, current organization, Centro, will do the legal assistance work in supporting people applying for their citizenship. And we will do the classes on English language and civics to help people prepare for the exam. Wow, so the first time ever that this grant has been given in Dane County, how did you apply for it? What was the process like to, to get this money here and these services here? I think something the community needs to know, it's really important to have the right leadership. And Robin has been an incredible leader at the Literacy Network. We've had a partnership for many, many years. They provide incredible work when it comes to citizenship support and complement our immigration services that we have at Centro. So it just felt like it was the right time. And we're really fortunate that this happened because our community desperately needs it at this time. Talk about the need for both of your groups a little bit in the community. How many people are you serving and, and what kind of services are, are you giving out? Yeah, well, this is for Literacy Network. We are serving 1,300 people this year, which is the most we have ever served. Wow. After the pandemic, people are demanding classes and services and Centro has got a new capital um, building, expansion for their building, we're expanding as well. So there are people who want the services who are, are coming to our doors asking for the assistance. Yeah, I think, you know, on the south side, people, some of the viewers might know there's a lot of development happening, there's a lot of growth, and that's because more, more individuals and families are moving to the area. They're in need of the support that Literacy Network and Centro provides. Um, and I think it's only expected to grow. Immigrant mm -hmm. communities in Wisconsin are the fastest growing community, in the county, in the state, following national trends. If mm -hmm. our viewers um, would like to, you know, participate in some of these services, um, what's your message to them? And I'm hoping maybe you can give a, a message in Spanish to, oh. for our Spanish speaking um, mm -hmm. viewers as well. Volunteer, we use a lot of volunteers to help prepare students, donate so we can add more classes. Gracias, sí, gracias por la oportunidad que las personas llamen a Literacy Network o a Centro para que puedan obtener estos servicios, que participen, que sean voluntarios y que den a organizaciones como estas, porque estamos ahí para la comunidad. Thank you both so much for being here. Is there anything else you'd like to add quickly before we wrap up? Just we love the support we have in the community and keep it coming. Amazing. Thank you Thank for you. everything that you both do. And I'm so excited that you received this grant. This is huge. Thank you Thanks so you. much. Mm -hmm.